You're watching WXTX Fox 54 Sports with Alexandra Vitale. A lot of action happening tonight at the Snake Pit. It's now official. Newly signed goalie Shannon Zabados made her professional hockey debut tonight when the Cottonmouths hosted the Knoxville Ice Bears. Zabados earned two Olympic gold medals as goalie for the Canadian women's hockey team, but played college hockey for the men's team at Northern Alberta Tech, along with three current Cottonmouths. She'll become the second woman ever to play pro hockey in North America, and she says she feels pretty good about her current situation. She held her own uh, tonight, but that game just finished up the final score of that Ice Bears win, unfortunately, 4-3. to three. I'll have highlights tonight on our sister station, WTDM Sports Leader 9. And today at Ragsdale Field, the CSU men took on Montevallo. Perfect day for some baseball. We'll pick it up at the bottom of the first, two out. Caden Ferguson gets out of a jam with a ground ball that allows for a double play to strike out runners on second and first. Now CSU keeps the score 0-0. Bottom of the second, Tim Massengale on the plate, and he gets a nice hit, but doesn't quite have enough to go out of the field. Score is still tied at 0. That's because of strong early half pitching by Caden Ferguson, who only allowed two hits in the first three innings of that game, but sadly Montevello does get on the board and they win 10 to four, the final. How about a little semifinals basketball action? The Florida Gators taking on Tennessee, saying in half, Tennessee up three. Patrick Young gets the pass this for the layup. Tennessee up now one. Michael Frazier open on the wing and he sticks the three, two point game. Now we're tied right here at 49. Young in the lane and hits the pretty left-handed hook shot. 56-49 Florida Gators. Young with 16 points, eight rebounds. McCray had 15 points. And then the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Kentucky Wildcats in the semifinals of the SEC tournament. Second half, Aaron Harrison adding to Kentucky's lead with that nice three-pointer. He was the leading scorer today with 22 points, one rebound, two assists to help Kentucky win today 70-58, to the final. And that's a look at sports. Roslyn. All right, Alex, thank you.